Let that battle cry out, saints. Let that battle cry out. To God be the glory, Yahuwah. Woo! pray for you today saints that you get your worship on just get out before him and start singing to him the holy angels will not only come and be with you but let me tell you what else will happen saints the holiness and the righteousness and the glory of god will fall the presence of god is unmistakable the ram's horn the shofar we use it to to call the people to gather. It's also about a, a warnings, warning them, calling them to battle, calling them to gather. In the Bible, you'll call it, um, a lot of times you'll see it as trumpets. Uh, there's a significance. They use silver trumpets. They used uh, the ram's horn. But saints, let me tell you what, when you get before the Lord and you're worshiping and you're calling other people to gather in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach, let me tell you something, saints. When the glory and the presence of God comes, you're not going to care what you look like. You're not going to care what you sound like. Oh, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let the fire fall. Ah, let the fire fall. Ooh, Jesus is Lord of lords and King of kings. How can you not stand up and praise him and stand up and worship him and raise up those holy hands and say, Father, I'm yours. I surrender. Oh, I surrender all. <laughs> I'm worshiping to an audience of one. And, um, the reason I'm sharing this with you is because most people have no idea how to enter in to, to worship. Um, you know, we, we come before the Lord and we, we listen to a few songs or we start soaking. Okay, guys, you ain't got to come out here and soak for three or four hours to hear from the Lord. If you got a personal close relationship with Him, you going to hit it. The moment you put your mind to it and your heart into it, the Holy Spirit lives in you. You ain't got to pump him up. You ain't got to, ooh, I got to, I got to figure out a way to get the presence of God to fall. He lives in you. If he lives in you, he's living through you. Ah, whoo. The presence of God is unmistakable. The presence of God is real. Oh my gosh. If you ain't got a ram's horn, that's okay. Use your voice as a trumpet. Ah. Jesus is Lord. So I'm just kind of overcome with the presence of the Lord being so powerful and so thick. And guys, if you could just, if you could see the angels respond to your worship. Oh, you'd stay in a worship mode 24-7. If you just knew how they respond to a human being lifting their spirit to God. You wouldn't need anybody to blow a, a ram's horn or a trumpet or tell you to come and, and enter in and get your, you know, flesh moving. Guys, this ain't about flesh. I turned on the music and I just started. It's like immediate. Yes, you have to practice. Perfect practice makes one perfect. And I ain't talking about perfection. I'm talking about mature Again, the Lord is looking for those that will worship Him in spirit and in truth. Ram's horn, you don't need one, but let me tell you what they are, according to the Word of God. A symbol of gathering. A symbol of the coming of Christ. Yeah, the trump, the last trump. Yeah, the trump will sound. Judgment. Ah, because let me tell you what, saints, you hear that trump and you ain't ready? You in trouble. And I ain't talking about the president either. Woo! I like this one. Blessing. Oh! Yeah! Gather your people, Lord. You've already blessed them. Now gather them. So if you look in Exodus 19, 13 through 16, Joshua chapter 6, starting in verse 4. 
and um, move over to 1 Samuel 13, 3, 2 Samuel 2, 28, 2 Samuel 15, 10, 2 Samuel 18, 16. How about Hebrews chapter 12, uh, right around verse 19. If you read in there, you're going to find it's the same as uh, back over in the Old Testament. Wow, imagine that. 1 Corinthians 15, 52. 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 18. My favorite, Numbers chapter 10, verses 1 through 10, where Joshua was given instructions by the Lord to have seven priests. <laughs> seven priests, seven ram's horn, seven times. Seven, yeah, you notice all them seven saints, okay? You had seven priests with seven trumpets or ram's horns. Them walls all fell down. What's that tell you? If I'm in that mode, I can just go ahead and enter in with this. But if I have to just do it to, to just to demonstrate, it's a little different for me because I don't like to demonstrate. I like to worship. But I thank God for allowing me to demonstrate today um, in my place of worship and out of that place of worship. Saints, I encourage you to do the study. Find out about that ram's horn, that trumpet. Find out about true worship, which is in spirit and in truth. If you haven't experienced it, I encourage you to experience it. I bless you today, not only to be a worshiper in spirit and in truth, but to know that you are a child of God, that you are blessed, that you are highly favored and flavored. Each of you are unique. I was told that my form of worship is unique. Actually, it's not, because if you look at the angels in heaven and what they do, they dance, they shout, they praise, they clap. Um, angels surrounding the throne. We're on earth, saints. Our worship should match what's in heaven. Our worship on earth should match what's in heaven. And what we, what we do to worship Him in our unique individuality, as long as it's biblical, saints, it doesn't matter who comes against you. It doesn't matter who tells you to sit down and shut up. Yeah, you go into a church and the praise and worship starts. And it gets more and more glorious and more and more holy. And the spirit man of God is starting to interact with the spirit man, the, the spirit of the most high God. And those two spirits collide. And then you got a preacher getting up and giving the high sign to sit down and shut up. Do not quench the Spirit of God. According to the Word of God, do not quench the Spirit. I'm pointing at somebody. Might not be you, but let me tell you what, saints. If they continually quench the Spirit of the Most High God, get your hat, get your coat as Sister Sharon, motivating you to win. Get your stuff and get up and leave. Because if they continue to quench the spirit, the spirit is eventually just going to say, okay, enough is enough. Don't quench the spirit, saints. <laughs>